Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Brittany, you can call me Bolt. And today I'm gonna be painting with you guys. I'm gonna be on some Miss Bob Ross shit today and we're gonna be painting for Mother's Day. So I wasn't sure what to get my mom and my grandma for Mother's Day this year. Um, all the stores are closed. I didn't really wanna order anything online because I didn't want it to be late. So I decided that I would paint something really nice for both my grandma and my mom. And honestly, I thought that it might be a little bit more meaningful than just buying them something from the store. So I'm going to be painting both of them a picture today. Some of you might know I've been painting a lot during this quarantine. I love to paint. I'm not a professional by any means, but I've been painting on and off for the past two years now and I just love it. It's very relaxing to me, it's very fun, and I love to be able to show my creative side. So I thought that I would do a painting video for you guys. I've painted on live streams and stuff before but I haven't done a YouTube video on it yet. So hello, that's what we're doing today. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll explain a little bit of what I'm doing step by step but we're just gonna be chilling. We're gonna be painting. It's gonna be a really chill day. It's a nice day outside so I thought that this would be perfect. I have to get this done for tomorrow. Mother's Day is tomorrow. As you're watching this, it's probably going to be the day of. So, yes, that's what we're doing. So I'm staying with my mom. If you haven't seen my life update, go watch it. You'll be caught up. But I got this beautiful paint set. I had to leave all my paints in LA. So I got this new paint set while I've been here and I've been loving it. I'm gonna use some of these colors and then I have some extra metallic colors as well to add to it. Um, I got this from Hobby Lobby. It was about $40, but if you guys ever go to Hobby Lobby, just Google coupons and you'll find like 40% off coupon. So I got this paint set for 40% off, which is really good. And then I just got these paint brushes. I don't have anything to put them in. So I'll show you guys my setup real quick, what I have going on here. So here I have my paints. Um, I'm actually using um, potty pads to paint on. I found that they're really good and it makes cleaning up really easy. So I'm using those. I have my water right here. Here are my two canvases, one for my mom, one for my grandma. I only had two left, so I thought that this was perfect. And um, here I'm gonna use this bowl to put my paint in. That's really all I need to get this going. So I have my phone here because I have some inspo pictures on it. I thought, well, I wanna get them like some flowers, maybe a bouquet of flowers, but flowers don't ever last long. So I was like, well, I'll paint them some flowers and then they'll just last forever. So I have some inspo pictures. Um, I'm gonna do kind of the same kind of theme, but I'm gonna do different colors for both my mom and my grandma. They like different things, but I found some of these inspo pictures and I thought they were really beautiful, but like really simple at the same time. So I'm gonna kind of go off those two pictures. I'm gonna do a darker color scheme for my mom and then I'm gonna do a brighter color scheme for my grandma, just because that's kind of how they decorate their house. And I mean, I would like for them to display my artwork in their house, so we'll see. I think I'm gonna start with my grandma's first. It's gonna be this bright colored one. Yeah, to be honest, I kind of dropped the ball on Mother's Day. Um, I kind of thought about it a few days ago and I was like, oh, it's definitely too late to order anything. And I don't have a car here. I don't have my own car and I don't really want my mom to have to go drive me to go get her a gift. And I wanted to be secretive about it. And yeah, I just thought that this would kind of be a more thoughtful idea. So let's see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't turn out like trash. <laughs> I think I'm going to do like this off-white milky color for the background. And then I'm going to do... I don't want to copy this exactly, but I want to kind of stick with the color scheme a little bit. I'm going to do this color for the table. This color for the table, this color for the background. And then, yeah, I'll paint the flowers over it and everything like that. So, yeah, perfect. Let's do that. And I'll move this over so you guys can kind of see it. I wish I had an easel. I'll invest in one soon because I've been painting a lot more. There we go. That works. I'm actually going to mix this milky white and the warm gray together a little bit. I don't want the background to just be like a flat color, so I'm going to blend some colors together. And I'm just going to use this brush right here. I'm using acrylic paints. I know they're not the best paints to paint with, but they're kind of the most cost effective and that's what I've used the most. I'm just going to slap this on. I'm just going to go. I'm just 
gonna get right into it. I like to get a lot of water on my brush in between, you know, paint strokes just because it helps the paint spread a little bit better and it kind of adds more of a watercolor look to it. Just helps it blend more. As I said, I'm not a professional by any means, but to be an artist, you don't have to be a professional. You don't even really have to have experience. That's the amazing thing about art, and that's why it's kind of fun. So, I just kind of go along and see what happens. I never really had considered myself an artistic person until the past couple years, which is kind of funny. But um, I started painting with friends and at music festivals and stuff, especially the camping music festivals. That's one of my favorite things to do during the daytime before you go out and party. I think it's really fun to get um, a huge canvas and make a painting as a group, you know, and just give all your friends a paintbrush and let them do whatever they want and it gets really interesting. <laughs> this is what I have so far, just some like messy brush strokes. Um, I didn't want it to be a solid color, this adds a little bit, but I think I'm going to add a little bit of gray too on top of it. I like it a lot better after I added the gray, just makes the background less flat. Now I'm going to mix a little bit of this dark blue and gray and I'm going to paint the table that the vase is going to be sitting on. I enjoy painting more abstract images because yeah as I said I'm not the most amazing and realistic painter I guess so the abstract art you know is a little bit more up my alley. Ooh, I like this blue but it's a little bit bright. Might need to add some black into it. Yeah, it looks kind of like water. I don't like that. I'm gonna add some black. The nice thing about acrylic paints is you can kind of just paint over, over things with the colors, you know? All right, so that's what I have. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna start on my mom's painting. This is my grandma's. So I wanna add a little bit more blue to the bottom but it's pretty wet right now so I'm gonna let it dry. Now we're gonna start on my mom's. I want her background to be like green and blue. A little bit more, not turquoise, but a little bit more green. I'm gonna mix this blue and green together to see if we can come up with kind of a color that's a little bit similar to this blue. Ooh, this is a really pretty green. I really like that. Ooh, perfect. Yes, this is the right color. I'm just mixing up these colors right here. It's making a really nice green. That's like almost exactly the color that I wanted. And I'm going to do hers a little bit differently. I'm not going to add like a tabletop to this one. I want them to be different. But same kind of flowery concept. Ooh, I'm loving this color. It's a little bit windy outside, so we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna add a little bit of gray, see what happens. All right, I really like how this color turned out. This is just the background, but yeah, I really like this color. I kind of left a space right here. I don't want to worry about adding too much paint there because I'm going to paint over that anyways. So um, yeah, I really like the color and how that turned out. I'm going to make my mom's flowers really light and bright with a darker background and with the lighter background I'm going to make the flowers a little bit darker like dark pinks and purples and I'm going to make my mom's kind of like lighter um like kind of whites and yellows and stuff. Now we're going to set this aside and let that dry. Cool so now that it's dried a little bit I'm going to start painting the vase and then I will add the flowers last but I need to do the vase. I'm going to mix this ocean green color with a little bit of gray to do the vase. Cool, so I mixed the ocean green and the gray together and it makes kind of a watery color, so that's perfect. I'm just gonna kinda go for it. I'm gonna just, sometimes you gotta just do it. You just gotta do it. Mine might not look as good as my inspiration pictures, but that's okay. I tried. It's the thought that counts, right? So now I have the outline of the vase and I put a lot of paint on there. So I'm going to 
switch back and forth and I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna work on my mom's now. So as I said, I'm gonna do my mom's painting a little bit differently and I'm not gonna put her flowers in a vase. Her flowers are just gonna be like in a bundle that's like wrapped together with like ribbon, I think. So I'm going to start the base of the flowers and I'm going to do the stems first and then I'll add the leaves and the flowers. I'm adding a lot of paint and making the brush strokes individually and then they're all going to come together in the end and up here is where I'm going to add the ribbon together and then the flowers will come up right here and then I'm going to add like some green leaves and stuff but yeah this is just the base of the flowers. I'm just going to keep doing that until I have a pretty big bundle. That's what I have for the base so far. I'm going to let it dry. This is super rough draft. Art is a process so don't judge until it's done. <laughs> I took a quick break so that I could let the paint dry, but I made some goodies for my mom and my grandma. I made some banana chocolate chip muffins, and they're all fancy-like on this tray. So now we'll have something to snack on when we visit. Okay, back to work. I've kind of been taking my time, but I need to kind of hurry this up. So this is what we have so far. I needed to let the paint dry because I really, I really put a lot of paint on here, especially with this one, but it's pretty dry now. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep working on the vase for my grandma's painting. I'm gonna use this really thin paintbrush to kind of outline the vase, add some more detail to it. All right, so here's the vase. I made it a square vase, so I just did the outline. And now I'm gonna start with the flowers. So I'm gonna use these two colors to start off with. I'm gonna use this thick brush to start the circles on the flowers, cause they're gonna be kind of big. So I just made circles in a sloppy circular motion. Each one of the circles is going to be an individual flower and I'm just going to start adding like pinks and purples on top. These are the colors that I'm going to add to the flowers now. These are going to be the main colors of the flowers. Pink and then pink purple and then a darker purple as well. This one. When you're painting the flowers, do it in like a circular motion so that the flowers kind of start to take on a rose kind of shape. And it's good that the colors blend together. That's kind of what we want. And I'm just going to keep adding layers and layers of these three shades of purple and pink. And that will kind of make the petal effect on the flower. Okay, cool. So I added all those colors and I kind of did that motion that I told you guys about. I still want to add more color to this, but I need to let it dry. So I'm going to switch over to my mom's now. I'll show you guys what it looks like up close. Adding all the layers of color just adds a little bit of dimension to it, I feel like. Now for my mom's painting with the dark background, I'm gonna use kind of the same colors that I started off with on the other painting. The really light colors, white, milky white, and this flesh color. I need one of these right now. I really like the way that the colors of these flowers are turning out. So yeah, I wanted these flowers to be a lot lighter than the pink and purple ones because of the dark background, but I really like this kind of mixture of the white and peachy color. I think it looks really pretty. Now I'm going to add this deep yellow color to, again, do the same thing, add kind of like all different shades of the white, yellow, orange, just to make it look pretty. <laughs> I don't know all the professional art terms, but we're going to make it look pretty. That's what we're going to do. 
try. We'll try. We're gonna try. <laughs> While that's drying, so I can wait for more layers, I'm going to add the ribbon that I told you guys about. I'm gonna use this little thin brush right here to add the ribbon. And I think I'm gonna make the ribbon like silver. What's up, baby? <laughs> Bye. I love her. <laughs> what did you get me for Mother's Day, Stella? I don't think she got me anything. You didn't get me anything? A big yawn in the face. All right, now I think that these main flowers are done, so I'm gonna start to add the granary around it to make it more of a full bouquet of flowers. I'm gonna use some light green and dark green to do that. I want the colors to be kind of bright to match the purple and the blue. I was gonna add stems to the vase, but I haven't decided yet. I, I don't know if I wanna keep the vase a solid color or try to make it like glass and clear water. I don't know if I'm that advanced yet, so I might just keep it a solid blue. As I said before, just another disclaimer, I am not a professional artist. I like to paint for fun, so please don't come for me. I just, I'm just trying to have a good time, make my mom and grandma something that they can look at and think of their amazing daughter and granddaughter, so don't come for my neck, please, <laughs> in the comments. Thank you. I'm going to try to add the stems and water to make the vase see through. We'll see how it goes. I'm having, I'm having two minutes of confidence here, so we'll see. <laughs> Alright, it's actually not too shabby. I'll give you guys a close-up look. It's Coming along not too bad. I still need to add, you know, the water lines right here. So we will see. We will see. I'm going to add more color to this. I'm going to add like maybe some extra colors like a lighter green, maybe some yellow. So it's coming along. I like this light olive green right here. It's like Mike Wazowski green. I'm going to add that green too. Make it look pretty. Now I'm adding a little bit of black, yellow, and white just to fill up the bouquet and add some more detail. I don't want there to be a ton of, you know, white space of the background showing, so I'm pretty much just dabbing on like some extra color, black, white, um, some more purple, just to fill up that space. Now it's time for me to try to make the vase look like it actually has water in it, so <sighs> wish me luck. Pray for me. <laughs> Let's see how this turns out. All right, so here's what we have. I'm still working on the water part. Um, I need some areas to dry first, but I think we're getting really close to being done with this. This is my grandma's painting. I added, you know, yellow, some black, more purple, white streaks up in here. So yeah, that's what we have. Here's what we have for my mom's painting. I'm going to add more ribbon and I'm going to keep adding layers to the flowers and then add green all around it like I did with the other one. Kind of same thing but different color scheme. I want to fix the background, make it a little bit more of a solid blue. But yeah, that's what we have for this one. Do you love me, love me, love me? Here's an update on what we have. I'm done with the flowers and now I'm just going to make it more full. I'm gonna add more greenery to this one than I did the other one, like big kind of branches of leaves coming down here. And yeah, I still have to do the ribbon, but there's a little update. 
I'm going to use a brush that is shaped more like this and not a square brush to make the leaves. So that's what I'm going to try to make all of the branches look like to add a little bit more greenery than I added to the last one. Because that's kind of, my mom's more into green kind of stuff and my grandma's more into flowery stuff. So that's what we're doing. So I added all of the greenery. And I'm going to finish up the ribbon and then fill up some more of the space in the middle of the flowers. And I'm almost done. I've literally been painting for five hours now. Five hours. I'm so tired. <laughs> Ugh. Revive me. We're getting there, you guys. We are almost done. <laughs> Final stretch. For the ribbon, I'm laying the paint on pretty thick so that it can kind of have a 3D effect of actually having ribbon. Hopefully, I don't know because I don't even know what I'm talking about. But I'm trying here. I'm also going to add some yellow to this one, just little dots towards the middle. Alright, now I'm just going to fix the background on this. <sighs> Alright you guys, I'm finally done. I'm so tired, I'm so over painting, but that's okay. I love my mom and my grandma. I really hope they like it. I didn't get them any backup gifts, so I really hope they like it. This is the finished product for my grandma. I'll also give you guys a close up view of it. The water actually turned out not bad. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this one turned out. I think the vase actually looks pretty good. Don't want to toot my own horn, but I think it looks really good. So yeah, that's my grandma's painting. And here is the painting that I did for my mom. The bouquet, I really liked it, how I fixed the ribbon. I think it turned out a lot better than doing the ribbon in a bow. I think it looks pretty decent. I like the greenery that I added around this one. I wanted to make them kind of the same but pretty different. So, yes, five hours later, I am finally done with these two paintings. Thank the Lord. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. This is my first painting video, so I'm really happy that I was able to share it with you guys, and thank you so much for watching. Um, I love you guys, and thank you for supporting me and everything that I do. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, leave a thumbs up, and don't forget to follow me on my other socials. I love you guys, and have a great week. Mwah.